We're gonna make three realistic cakes. Well, two. One is real, one is cake, and one is tuna. So I think we only have like two and a half hours to get this can of cat food cake done. <laughs> this is not going well. Why are we doing this? <laughs> I just thought it would be funny, okay? And how are you gonna make that? I don't know. That's what this video is all about. I think that the funnest part of doing any kind of realistic cake is figuring out how to make it look realistic and it's always different. I don't know why we started off with cat food though. There was a lot more like fun videos we could have started with. All right, so first I'm going to remove the labels from the cans and scan them on my computer and then print them on edible image paper because nobody's got time to hand paint these details. I certainly don't. Okay, mold material. Let's get our mold on. I'm gonna put a little thing of glue around the bottom and we'll just see if that works out. It's an experiment. We don't know how it's gonna turn out. That's why it's called an experiment. Hopefully it doesn't stick. This is not going well. All right, this is the Mold Star Series Part A Fast. So this cures in 15 minutes. So if you didn't plan ahead like me, no problem. I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful view of uh, the construction behind me from the water leak. And also I didn't do my hair because it's humid as heck today and I don't care. That looks like half. This is some very sciencey science. Don't forget to make a mess. And then we're gonna pour to the side to reduce bubbles, supposedly. Please be enough. It's not gonna be enough. Never enough. Never, never. 15 minutes later. All right, this is set up. Let's see if it comes off. Yee. Hmm. So I put the putty on top of the can, hoping that it wouldn't go under, and it did. Ooh, also, I have bubbles. Plan B. We take the tabby thing off and mold that separate. I opened it. Is this the tuna or the cat food? Yucko. Oh, maybe the cat will want it. Did you feed the cat food to your cats? Oh yeah, they freaking loved it. They're really? like going to town on it upstairs. Okay, take two. Need pliers. Didn't I say this was gonna be so easy? Um, yeah, that's going great. So um, I thought that a can would be like a really fun, you know, realistic cake to make which we've yet to decide if that is true yet or not. Um, but I'm also thinking like a peanut butter jar or maybe like um, a bottle of wine. What do you guys think? What, what other types of realistic cakes do you want me to, to make? <sighs> Why is this aluminum so strong? Oh. Yes. Okay, so I just need to remold this. We'll be back. <laughs> Try two. Who knew it'd be so hard to mold a literal cylinder? Yes. Perfection. So I'm gonna brush the chocolate on first. Tap, tap, tap. Boom, boom, boom. And then for the tab, I molded it all by itself and I'm just piping a little bit of chocolate and sticking it into the fridge to chill. Okay, and we have this lovely pink cake baked by the talented and beautiful Emily. That's so satisfying. A little hockey puck of pink cake. We should make all of our cakes pink from now on. Okay. Okay, chocolate shell is set. Time to add in the cake. I left about enough room so that there should be like about a quarter inch of um, buttercream all the way around. And then we'll just like scrape off the excess. This is what happens when you go to VidCon with your video producer and you're like, I have a new idea for video content. And she's like, sounds good. Now we're making cat food cakes, Emily. This is our life now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. And then I think I am gonna like fill the bottom as much as I can. What made you decide to do a cat food first, Liz? Why not? Something beautiful. Seemed easy. Cause I was like, hey, this is shaped like cake, cat food can. We don't need to worry about that little thing called a tab. So easy. And uh, voila, go back into the fridge. How does one put tuna inside a cake? 
throw it in there. I feel like we should drain it, yeah? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh yum. Okay, yeah, look at that. That's a perfect little tuna pancake. That's not things you wanna hear while making cakes. Okay, I'm gonna cover this up with buttercream and some chocolate. Buttercream and tuna, buttercream and tuna. And tuna. You can smell it. From I can here. definitely smell it. The fact that you can't tell the difference between that one and that one is really upsetting. You will not know at all. I won't know. Oh my god. It's gonna go in the fridge and I'm gonna unmold them and I will not know. Okay. It is time. I'm so scared it's gonna crack. Oh, that looks pretty good. Now we just gotta make it silver. So. The, ed the like top edge broke a little bit, but I think it'll still look real enough. I, we're gonna put the label over it and it's just in this one spot. I think it's because there was no uh, buttercream right in that spot. I'll just cover it with some modeling chocolate because it's like towards the bottom so you won't even be able to tell. The magic yellow tool. This thing works so good to just like get those lumps out. Hiding our mistakes is what we do. So how do you think it turned out? I think it turned out really good, but I did notice that the lip didn't really mold very well. So we'll know that for next time. Maybe we should do it in modeling chocolate next time. Yeah. All right, so I've got a little Grand Marnier mixed with my silver luster dust. So I'm gonna use a mixture of sterling pearl light silver from the Sugar Art and a little bit of Truly Mad Plastics. All right, let's, let's test this out. Well, that's not right. <laughs> we just gotta keep brushing. Just keep brushing, just keep brushing. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm gonna have to do a couple coats of this. Okay, so if I ever get onto Is It Cake and something is silver, we're not picking that one. It looks good. You think so? Yeah, I like okay, it. okay. It definitely doesn't look the same though. I don't actually know which one. I, mean, I don't either. I can't remember which one was which. This dry brushing with the just straight Truly Mad Plastics actually works the best. No liquid. It's like if you go back and forth really fast with a dry brush, it like makes it really that shiny. That looks really good. Yeah, just do a little, a little buffing. That totally looks like a can! Oh, and we can't forget about the tab. I just had to like pull it out super, super carefully and it still got a teeny tiny little crack and I just like glued it back together with a little chocolate and now I'm just shaving off the part that was sticking out. So it looks good. Problem solving. I'm just taking all this like random stuff on the table and doing the tabs. I'm gonna glue this with a little bit of chocolate. Oh yes. Ooh. All right, so now I'm gonna take the label off of this can, the real can. I'm gonna kind of um, brush it with a little bit of silver so that it looks similar. Cheating. Cheating. It's okay, it's my game, I can do what I want. So just like kinda, you know, let's get that. So it's kind of all the same silver. I don't wanna make it too easy on you guys. I'll have to crook it up the top of that lid to make it look similar. Crook it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna hit it with a hammer. <laughs> okay, now we just gotta put the wrappers on and it's time to test and clean up all the silver. Okay, so we made our three realistic cakes. Well, two. If you wanna see the reactions, don't forget to check out the episode of Cake Roulette. And let me know what you guys wanna see us make next. Bye!